Hello, everybody. Welcome to another uh, 3D printing episode of the Butter What Show. Uh, I saw this Positron upside down 3D printer. I mean, I think I saw this quite a while ago, but I saw it again when Kralin 3D posted this originally, I think I saw it, but now he's doing a speedboat race. Participating in the speedboat race, Brian? Is that the, the, the right way to say it? Right? Is that a, a, a competition? It's a, it's, I believe it's a competition. Yeah, it's I think a race, he's a, right? He's a speedboat race competitor. And these speedboat races, it's mostly people with uh, Voron. Yeah. Core XY printers printing ridiculously fast. And this is an interesting, I don't know who this printer is for. It, pa it flat packs into a, was it in a briefcase? Can I say it was in a briefcase? Let's. Let's say it was in a briefcase, but with a big disclaimer that we're not really certain not about that. It might not be. I was too busy talking about speedboat races at the beginning. But yeah, it, it looks like it breaks down and is really compact if you wanted to store it. Or transport it. I don't know yeah. if on-site 3D printing is a uh, a niche that I don't, that I'm unaware of. Yep. Got some XT60 or XT... Yep, no, I'll say XT60 connector on the side there for something. Oh, that's oh. a bright display. Yeah, it is. But the weirdest thing about this printer, Tubby, is it prints upside down. Upside down. This is... <laughs> Here, this is interesting. Us th through the bottom of the glass, the top of the glass. We're looking down. I can't even down. talk about this. Yeah. Yeah, the, it's inverted. It's really interesting. And I, it's astonishing to me because my biggest problem with 3D printing from the beginning is adhesion to the bed. You know, things springing loose. Yeah. And, and you would think gravity would be not you, helping here. It's, yeah, not helping at all. And, and he's, he's doing 120 millimeter per second first layer. That's a... That's fast for any layer. Yeah. That's for most of us. Printing upside down is neat. Bridging works, ends up better. Different. Yeah. Better. Or different. Because, yeah. Because your bad layer is the top layer, and the next yep. layer pushes it back up instead of sagging more. And, yeah. And that's fascinating. There we go. We can see the benchy going the wrong way here. Yeah. And all the overhang, un, overhangs become different. Different. I mean, I'm sure some things print better in this style of printer and some things print worse, but I'm yep. sure this is good for the hull of the Benchy. I would imagine that some of the points, some of the points of the Benchy that are stressful to other printers aren't as stressful to this guy. And vice versa, yep. I bet. Yeah, it's a probably a different, a different kind of problem. Yeah, and the Benchy really doesn't have much of a bridge there. Those... Everywhere where I would think it might have been a bridge is actually just a, an arc with layers getting closer together. It's about to finish. I just wanted to see the time so we yeah. could say that out loud. So that it was... Nine minutes, 54 seconds. That's impressive. Or, uh, slightly sloppy, but not terrible. Yeah. Benchy. I think it's impressive. Probably looks better than the first Benchy I ever printed. Did you know I've never printed a Benchy? I think I've Still. printed. I think I printed one on my little MakerBot clone, and I looked at it. It was awful, and I said, "Oh well, that's supposed to be a stress test, anyways." And I never yeah. worried about it again. I don't know what these cables, these belts he uses, are called, but they're interesting. And the normal benches at normal speeds are perfectly clean. Nice. Here's an upside yeah. down cat. But it's fascinating. I want to keep an eye on this. Yeah. For sure. And that's Kralin 3D. I'm assuming Kralin it's 3D. pronounced the way I expect it to be pronounced. I hope so. 